No matter what your town hall level, this video will provide you a guide on exactly how to upgrade your base as fast as possible. Welcome back to the channel then guys, I'm your host Judo Sloth. I have gone ahead and written down everything that you would need to know for upgrading your base as fast as possible. I do have video chapters so that you can skip through any sections that aren't relevant to yourself, but I did want to include everything in order to help as many people as possible because I like to bring educational but entertaining Clash of Clans videos, so if that's the type of content you want to see, I would recommend subscribing and also turning on the notification bell. Very quickly, remember you can help to support your favourite content creator in-game before making any purchases by entering their code in your settings. My code is JUDO and it is much appreciated my friends. Where do I begin? There is so much information in this video. I want to first talk about active farming and passive resources, i.e. which buildings should you upgrade first at any town hall level, alongside all of the generic tips and tricks for every town hall level, but at the end of the video we'll get a little bit more specific rushing your base versus not rushing your base because this will differ depending on how you want to play the game it doesn't matter what town hall level you are or your progress in the game there are some general rules of thumb that you want to follow in terms of building upgrades i explained all of this in my upgrade guide for every town hall level and any relevant videos will be linked in the description as ever but let's summarize it for you the elixir and gold collectors you want to ensure to upgrade this means that you are gaining more loot passively all of the time so it makes sense especially early on in the game to upgrade your elixir collectors and your gold mines now in terms of your offense versus defense you always want to prioritize your offense at any given town hall level that means your clan castle your barracks so you can unlock the new troops and cook them up faster as well as the army camps should be the priority obviously so that you can take more troops for farming, which means you can then gain more loot to upgrade your base faster. The other point that I guess I should highlight real quick is the storages. Always make sure that you upgrade your storages as well as a priority because lower level, it's very easy to cap out. All I mean by that is when you are farming, you can hit the maximum amount and then any extra loot is lost. And also as you upgrade through the town hall levels, it does mean that any magic items you gain such as runes will give you a greater amount and that's a way that clash of clans have tried to speed up the progress of the game i did explain all of the magic items to you in a previous video made sure that you knew exactly which ones you should use and when but by upgrading your storages just know you are getting the best value by prioritizing the building upgrades we just mentioned it means your passive increase of resources is greater which is a good thing but let's talk about your active increase of resources farming now i'm not going to go into every farming attack in this video i have a video the top five farming attacks i would highly recommend checking that video out again that one will be linked in the description because i gave a farming strategy specific to town hall levels as well but just know early on in the game that the barch strategy will serve you very well cook up roughly half barbarians half archers and just have at the base as long as you try and find bases with a lot of loot in the gold mines and elixir collectors you will be able to gain resources quickly with that strategy the more active you are i.e the more attacks you do the quicker you will be able to gain resources and upgrade your base. A really quick top tip here as well, if you are using the Barch strategy and you want to try and keep roughly a 50-50 ratio, because sometimes you can end up with a ton of barbarians and not many archers, it happens to me all of the time, make sure to just train a couple of barbarians and archers in your quick train menu. I like to stick to around about 10, but this number could be adjusted. Then you just press train a bunch of times. When you move over to the troop training menu, you will see that you have a nice 
nice even spread of barbarians and archers. It's just a nice quick way of keeping them even. I know I said I wouldn't go into any great depth with the farming strategies. That's what my top five farming strategy video explains. But let's summarize it for you for Town Hall 1 through 8. I would recommend the Barch strategy or a variation of it, as we just mentioned. Once you get to Town Hall 9, the Mass Baby Dragons. This is incredibly powerful for gold and elixir and will serve you through the Town Hall levels. If you need Dark Elixir, I would recommend the Lunion Attack strategy. And once you get to Town Hall 10 and 11, you can transition into a Mass Miner or a Mass E-Drag style attack, depending on your preference. And those attacks are also stronger, which means you can get deeper into the base for the Dark Elixir. Before we move into other areas of how to upgrade your base as fast as possible, Builder Management, for example, there are a couple of other points on the farming regard which are important to mention. The first one being, what league should you farm in? This depends on your progress in the game, the strategy you are using, how active you are. You guys will have seen my video on which league you should farm in for any Town Hall level. That was to do with cheap, quick farming armies, but as a general rule of thumb, I would think if you are farming the gold mines and elixir collectors, right of the way up through to Town Hall 12-ish, I used to farm in the high gold to low crystal leagues. Don't get me wrong, if you are a real low level town hall player, you've just started the game, the bronze and silver leagues will serve you well. But I farmed in gold one to crystal three, right of the way into town hall 12. If you are wanting dark elixir, you probably want to move into crystal and even low masters. Once you get really high up in the game, feel free to farm in the higher levels. There are pros and cons to the different leagues leagues. It's all about how comfortable you feel depending on the strategy and your activity and also you have to appreciate the higher you go it's more likely that you'll be hit by stronger players as well and it is about protecting your loot at the same time. On that subject you do need a base layout which will protect your loot. So what I have done for you is included in the video description a base link from Town Hall 4 through Town Hall 13. Town Hall 4 being the first level that you can copy base links so that you have a good farming base. Now, I'm not saying it's the best. What I did was go to my good friends over at Clash Champs and found a farming base that was highly recommended and that I think looked effective for each town hall level. So if you don't have a farming base and you want one to try and protect your loot at the end of the video, feel free to go into the video description, click the link, it will take you into Clash of Clans and copy it for you to use. Okay, so that was a ton of information on farming and and protecting your loot, but at the end of the day, upgrading your base fast is all about gaining resources fast and protecting those resources so you can actually spend them when you do have a builder available. That moves us nicely into builder management and there are a couple of key points that you need to know. The builders are what upgrade your base, so being able to manage and prioritize their time effectively is going to be the most important thing for upgrading your base fast. Now, whether you are a free-to-play player or not, you need to prioritize the five builders. So if you aren't a free-to-play player, make sure that any of the challenges where you unlock gems, you are saving those gems to unlock the five builders as fast as possible. If you are going to be purchasing stuff in game, keep an eye out because some of these special offers, particularly around the builder packs, can be really good value. No matter how you obtain the builders, you just need to make sure that they are your number one priority. If you want to upgrade your base fast, you need all of the builders. You also need to manage their time effectively. But before we talk about that, you also want to unlock the sixth builder. I get a lot of questions. How do you unlock the sixth builder. I have a video explaining how to do it as fast as possible. As with the other recommendations, it will be in the video description. But in a nutshell, rush the builder base. Get it right up to Builder Hall 9 so that you can unlock the Otto Hut, complete the challenges to unlock the Master Builder and send him over to the home village, which will give you the sixth builder. 
obviously, the more builders you have, the faster you can upgrade your base. It all sounds straightforward, and it is, as is this bit on builder management. But look, guys, a quick motivational bit here as well, because that is important, actually. If you want to upgrade your base fast, you are going to have to put commitment into the game, time in farming, unlocking the sixth builder. You need to put effort in if you really want to upgrade fast. It's like anything in life. The more you put in, the more you will get out. So you don't have to take everything on board we are discussing. You could still upgrade your base relatively quick. But if you really want to upgrade as fast as possible, then you need to try and do everything, which is why I'm telling you everything in this video. So what about the builder management then? I'm on my Town Hall 12 account to explain this to you. You know the Sloth account. This is the one we use to explain how to fix a rushed base. So with builder management, I have my six builders and one of them is not working. That is incredibly important depending on how active you are. The advice would be to try and keep all of your builders working all of the time. I told you it was straightforward, but you want to make sure that you have one builder that you can dump gold and elixir into walls. I actually get a lot of questions how to upgrade walls fast. It's easy. Farm a lot and keep a builder to put excess gold and elixir into. What that means is you have all five builders working, and if ever you are farming and gaining a huge amount of loot, it is not going to waste. You are not giving your opponent more on defense because you have a builder there in order to upgrade your walls in the background. But in terms of upgrades, as we mentioned, make sure all of your builders are working. Bar the one, if you are going to be able to put golden elixir into walls, if you are not going to be farming that much and you're not going to be able to have excess golden elixir to upgrade your walls, then feel free to get all of the builders working. You are maximizing the time that they are upgrading. A couple of suggestions, always try and make sure that you have heroes upgrading and if you can all of the heroes this actually plays into the rushing your base which i will discuss at the end and also do not forget about the lab because this is where bottlenecks tend to happen in town hall levels a lot of people will say they have upgraded all of the defenses but they still have heroes and lab upgrades should they upgrade their town hall level my answer to that is yes because to upgrade your base fast it is all about builder management and i will link at the end of this video it will be in the video description as well but my upgrade guide for all town hall levels i'm not necessarily going to go into all of the specifics of what to upgrade but make sure your heroes and lab are a priority because they tend to take the longest. That all seems straightforward, but the main thing for builder management is you being super conscious on when your builders are going to finish their upgrades. So for me, my next finished builder will be from the mortar in one day and eight hours time. I know that in one day and eight hours time, I need to get that builder working again. There is no sleep for the builders. If you want to upgrade your base fast, you need to keep the builders working. So in one day and eight hours time, I know that one of my builders, I have one for the walls, but my intended builder to work will be free. I need to have enough resources. You can keep an eye on this in the suggested builder tab and also make sure that heroes, that is a different resource. You're keeping an eye on that. You can can rotate the resources. If you find it hard to constantly max out your gold, you can do an upgrade with gold, an upgrade with elixir, an upgrade with dark elixir, depending on your playstyle and how difficult it is. If you truly want to upgrade fast, I would stick to my upgrade guide for all levels, being the heroes and the lab, which is another thing. You need to keep an eye on the lab as well and make sure that when the lab is finished, you have enough resources to start another upgrade. Magic items. Let's quickly slot it in at this stage in the video. I did mention earlier how upgrading your storages allows you to get the most out of your runes. Obviously, if you are using a rune, do not use it when your storages are half full because it fills your storage. You want to use it when your storages are pretty much empty to get the best value. But in terms of books and hammers, these are really important for you to upgrade your base fast. Now, I did talk about this in my video with all magic items, but the books only skip time. So use them on the longest upgrades, whereas the hammers will skip time 
and resources. So you want to try and use them probably on the things that you find the most difficult to get the resources rather than time. Personally, I use the Hammer of Fighting for Dark Elixir upgrades or the Hammer of Heroes. But the main magic item I want to discuss is the Builder Potion. We mentioned keeping the builders working and this is when you want to use a Builder Potion. A Builder Potion will speed up your builders so they are 10 times faster for one hour. That means for an hour they get 10 hours off an upgrade but it goes without saying you want to use this when you have all of your builders working to get the best value because it does not just work on one builder it works on them all so if i had six builders working that would be six builder hours in that of one hour but 60 hours with the portion so 54 hour advantage that is pretty good, my friends. In terms of the Clan War Leagues and the Clan War League medals, which is one of the main ways you will get magic items, you might have guessed it, but I did a video for you explaining which items you should pick from the Clan War League medal shop. But for the purpose of this video and upgrading your base fast, let's talk about the Research Potion and the Builder Potion, because these will be the recommendations for Town Hall 8 and below, and in fact, some of the upgrades at Town Hall 9. Reason for that, let's use the research potion as an example. It is 20 medals and gives you a 24 times boost for one hour, so basically takes one day off an upgrade. When you get to the stage of using hammers, the hammer of fighting would be my recommendation. It is 120 medals, so six times the amount. Once you get past the point where an upgrade takes longer than six days, it is far superior to use the hammer, which instantly finishes the upgrade. And that is not even taking into account resources, which is a huge thing. You have to spend the resources and just use the research potion to skip time. Whereas the hammer, you don't even need the resources. So that's why once you get to Town Hall 9, it pretty much works out better to use the hammers. Now the builder potion is more expensive, but it works on all of your builders. However, it's only for 10 hours. Same mathematics work, Town Hall 8 and below, research potion and builder potion above that, use the hammers. I have a quick round of tips now before we discuss the rushing versus non-rushing. I want to piggyback on the builder management because if you don't have excess golden elixir, maybe you can't farm as much in order to put that into walls, just prioritize the upgrades. Forget about walls. It is all about builder management. You want to keep your builders working. You do not want to be spending your golden elixir on walls and having builders sitting doing nothing. On that same token, it does depend on where you are in the game and where you are trying to get to. If you are a brand new player and you want to get to a maxed Town Hall 13, no matter how proficient you are, it is still going to take you a little while. Now for that reason, you do not want to burn out. You want to keep the game enjoyable. So it might be that you're super active sometimes and you can put excess loot into walls and other times, you take it a little bit easier and you just concentrate on keeping your builders busy. You don't worry about excess loot for the walls. No matter how you decide to play, you need to keep it entertaining and fun for you. Otherwise, you will get sick. It's a game at the end of the day. So you want to make sure that you're playing how you want to play and what is manageable for you. Maybe switch things up. Do a little bit more war. You'll still be gaining loot that way. Maybe push up the trophy league. See how high you can get. You will still be getting loot. Maybe just not as quick as if you were doing the quick, cheap farming armies, but you will still be progressing. And in order to upgrade your base, it is a long run, so you do need to make sure that you are keeping yourself motivated throughout that. Whilst switching things up in the game can help to keep it fresh, it's also something that you need to do if you want to upgrade your base fast. You have to be active in the clan games, max it out in order to get all of the items. You need to be taking part in war and the clan war leagues in order to get the rewards. You have to be keeping an eye on the events tab and completing any relevant events that will give you some pretty cool items in order to upgrade your base faster. You need to be taking part in everything to maximize the amount of loot and items you are getting to upgrade faster. 
The main activity you need to be involved with though if you want to upgrade your base fast is the season challenges. Whether you purchase the gold pass or you stick to the silver pass which is the bottom row of rewards, you need to complete this if you want to upgrade your base fast because the rewards are incredible. You have to complete your season bank. This essentially doubles the amount of loot that you gain on farming up until a certain point. When we talked about burnout and keeping things manageable for you, it might be that you you make sure to complete the season bank and then you take it easy a little bit because you're not then getting double the resources once you've filled the season bank but either way you need to fill the season bank that is without mentioning the perks from the gold pass which really does help to increase its value i don't want to go on about the gold pass but if you are purchasing it when you do get your season bank at the start of the season make sure that you try and get to the 10 percent discount which is normally around about 120 points you can get that relatively easy and it means when you spend your 25 million golden elixir you're saving 5 million in loot when you spend that 50. Right let's finish off with rushing versus not rushing your base. I think the general consensus is you should not rush your base but the reason I put this right at the end is all of the other tips are appropriate for everybody but there are a select few people that should rush their base and I'll explain why. Now, for the most part, you do not want to rush your base because you can enjoy the experience as you move through the town hall levels. And there is also a loot penalty, which means if you attack someone two town hall levels lower than you, you have a 50% decrease in the amount of loot you gain. I've explained all of this in previous videos, but for the most part, the matchmaking in clouds tries to match you with the same town hall levels. It's not as big of an issue as it used to be. And the reason some people should rush their base, I am not talking about rushing to town hall 12 to get siege machines. I'm talking of rushing your base to upgrade faster. The reason some people would do that is to unlock all four heroes so they can upgrade all four heroes at the same time. Assign a builder to the king, queen, warden, and royal champion. Now you might be asking, why is that helpful? People often get stuck upgrading the heroes. That's why I brought you a guide on how to upgrade your heroes as fast as possible. Now, when you have all four heroes unlocked and you are solely working on upgrading the heroes, as soon as a hero upgrade finishes, you have enough resources to upgrade that hero again then it doesn't matter about the other buildings because your builders are assigned to the heroes. And there are other perks to being at Town Hall 13. What are those other perks? Well, you have higher levels of the gold mines, elixir collectors, and dark elixir drills. Depending on what Town Hall level you would have been, you have higher levels of the storages, meaning the magic items give you more loot. And if you are constantly upgrading your heroes, then you're not going to be able to use a heavy farming army anyways. You can upgrade, let's say, the baby dragons, miners, e-drags, maybe even just stick with Barch, upgrade it to that top level and stick to the collector raids. At high level at Town Hall 13, you can find bigger loot than you can at lower level because everyone else's mines and pumps are maxed as well. So you can gain more on offense irrespective of the loot penalty. It's not that big of a deal anymore. You will still be able to gain more when you are a max Town Hall 13, and you can still get access to them higher level troops. Keep your lab upgrading. That is separate to the builders. So have four builders assigned to the heroes and make sure to keep your lab going. Your final builder, you can either dump into walls any excess golden elixir because you will have to be doing a lot of farming to gain the amount of dark elixir to keep the king and queen going. So you don't want to have the other builder stuck and not getting looped dump it into walls or once you've got the sixth builder then you can use a builder to slowly upgrade the other parts of your base but you do want to prioritize the offense and what we discussed in the upgrade guide so very specifically if you are a super super active player you're highly motivated you are going to be able to farm like crazy get lots of resources and you want to go to max town hall 13 ASAP. You don't care about the gaming experience, enjoying everything else in between, war, anything like that. You just want to get to a maxed base and be super active. 
you might consider rushing your base because you can keep the heroes going, get the perks, and stick to the upgrade guide. I hope this video has been helpful. If you do want to know which buildings to upgrade at any town hall level, I would check out my upgrade guide. Subscribe button is there as well, guys, because we do continue to bring educational but entertaining Clash of Clans videos. I hope you found this one useful. Enjoy the rest of your day. Have a good one, and we will see you in the next video.